Hey YouTube, how's it going? Hey guys, what's up? Um, today we're gonna be learning about table footer, and let's go through the syllabus. It'll be okay. Table footer, right here. We're gonna do today. Last time we did is table head. So guys, check this out. So before I was doing parts, like part two, part three, part four, I actually grouped up them together, like. I guess part one, I did introduction to tables and create a table in one video. But now all I'm gonna do is um, each section right here, I'm gonna, each section, I'm just gonna do one video. So table footer will be one video only. And then the next video will be style CSS. That is good because it'll easy to um, manage. And also you can look back on the videos or if you're having trouble with it, you could always review it. It's easy accessible. All right, guys, let's get started. All right, table footer. The bottom part of a long table can also be sectioned off using T foot element. So this is the table, this is the T head, this is table row, this is table header, table header, table header, and this is table row, and this is table head, and this is T body, this is table row, table header, table data, and you closing out your table row from here to here. Okay. from It's actually from here to here. And you open up here to here. Then the table row, table data is in here. And then your body gets closed. This is one section right here. From table row. From table body. This is a um, section right there. And then T for this is the ending. This is what we're going to be learning today. T foot, table row, table header, table data, table data, and T foot and table ending. So in the example above, the footer contains a total totals of the data in the table. Footers are often used to contain some differences in other data results. All right, cool. So add a table footer at the bottom of the table using T foot element inside of the footer and the following data. So this is what we're going to add table data and then total table head or table data. All right, good. All right, guys, let's start writing some code. So my instructions were to add a table foot at the bottom of the table using T foot element inside of the footer. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. Let's go to the bottom of the page. So this is table row, TD, strike fitness, TD, table header. Let's go ahead and put it, where should we put this at? Let's put it right here. Yep, let's put it right here. Let's go ahead and um put a table row. Okay. And what is it's going to be total? Table data. Close that out with table data. And then you put, um, actually, no, what am I doing? I got to put um, table row and then close that with a table row. Right. And then this is going to be our data. So let's go ahead and organize this. TD. Put it down here. And then close that up with TD. Okay, close that up with TD. Um, open up with TD and 28. Or slash TD, okay. And that's good. Now, we need a table footer though. We got the table data, so let's add a table footer. So, 
we're gonna actually put table footer up here. And then make sure this is clear. This is organized. And then we got to close it out with table um, forward slash T foot. Okay. Let's see. T body. Table, um, bro. T foot needs to be up here. Actually, yeah, T foot needs to be up here. Table row needs to be up here. Close that. Let's see. Table row here. T foot. There we go. All right, guys. So what we have here is we made a table row and T foot. And put the data in there and T foot and close the row out. All right, cool. Guys, we got it. So we added it right here. Close this out. Table, we had total right here, a new box, and then 28, a new box here. If you were to close that out, or comment it out, and run it, it would not be there. Okay, that's the original. And this is what we added. Uh, total, 28. All right, guys. Uh, thank you for watching. Um, nice. So we just learned how to do T-Foot. So make sure you like, subscribe, comment, and share.